Hey, it's Marissa. I hope you are doing well. I'm here to show you my wallet setup, and I am using a Chic Sparrow Traveler's Notebook. It's in the size personal, and it is deluxe. And in the Chic Sparrow world, deluxe means that it has pockets, pockets and a pen loop. So this is the Maverick Leather in golden brown, and I did have it engraved with my name. And if you this is not really a Chic Sparrow review, there are plenty of those out there on the internet and on YouTube, of course, but if you have not tried Chic Sparrow or you have not tried the Maverick Leather, ugh, it's amazing. It's, it's beautiful. Look at this. Sorry if I'm jiggling the camera there, but this is just a gorgeous piece of leather. It is so well made. The stitching is perfect. Anyway, if you are interested in trying out a traveler's notebook as a wallet, I highly, highly suggest the Chic Sparrow, especially this Maverick leather. One of the reasons why I chose this leather over her other options, Jennifer Harvey's other options, is because it just holds up so well to use as a wallet. I wanted to be able to throw it, in, throw it around, throw it in my purse, my backpack, whatever, and not worry too much about having it um, scar or mar the leather too much. So because this is a more rugged, durable leather, it's just perfect as a wallet. And I thought it might be stiff because I thought the Maverick would just would be more stiff, but it's really not. It's quite pl pliable. It's just lovely and it smells amazing. And it's, it's beautiful. I love the markings of the golden brown especially and how it sort of has that lightning strike marble effect. Anyway, this is a beautiful notebook, highly suggest it. So how I have it set up here, again, as my wallet, I have a calendar, just to give you a general overview. Um, I have a, a card insert that I had made in fabric. I have a Hobonichi Weeks, which I have slightly modified. And then I have these two. <laughs> this is my cheap way of making a top loading envelope. I took two Filofax uh, ring bound personal size top loading envelopes, which I already had from my ring bound planners. I washi taped them together and I packing taped them together and voila, I have top loading envelopes. So that is what I use for cash. And then I also have this plastic personal size pouch for more cards and for change. So that is just the general overview of what I've got going on here. I found this, um, well, I guess before I say that, I have my driver's license here and some fun foreign bills here. I, um, from friends that have traveled and I like to keep that there in case I ever end up in that country and then I can use that money. I found this calendar insert at Target actually. It was $3.99. Dabney Lee. Made by Dabney Lee for Blue Sky. And it is simply a monthly calendar and then at the end there are pages for contacts and pages for notes. And I thought that was perfect to have in here just in case for whatever reason I don't happen to have my regular planner with me, I just have my wallet and I can make appointments if needed or whatever, just to have this as a reference I thought would be handy. So it doesn't start until July, but as you can see I've already got plans and I really like it in here and I like the pattern a lot. I thought it kind of coordinated well with this fabric pouch. The fabric pouch I have is by Applehead Threads and I forget the gal's name, I'll try to put a link below. She has a Facebook page, so I actually ordered this through her Facebook page. But if I'm up to date on everything, I'm pretty sure she's no longer taking orders, unfortunately. Um, and I say unfortunately because I really love this insert that she made. I also had her make one for my pocket traveler's notebook as well as my standard size. So it was, I mean, I really love it. I got to pick the fabric. I had her add a pen loop to it. You can also add a zipper pouch, but again, I'm saying these things, but I don't know if she's still taking orders anymore. But anyway, that's where I received this. And I have my credit card here, debit card here, some loyalty cards and uh, membership cards, and as well as more of those things on the, in the back pouch as well. I sort of loosely use the Dave Ramsey cash envelope system. I've been using this traveler's notebook as a wallet for about a month, and I, so I have been using a cash system. Um, it's not quite Dave Ramsey's, but it works for me. So I know that my eating out um, 
budget is up here groceries our grocery bills or <laughs> grocery money cash budget whatever is kept here and then I use these pockets, which I sort of explained earlier um, here, and I just use some Chrissy Ann design stickers to label them clearly. And what I did is I took some of this really beautiful um, Scarlet Lime Planner Society planner kit paper and stuck it in there so that this one envelope functions as two different um, budgeting sections. So I love that a lot. And then again, this pouch in the back. And what I'm avoiding talking about right here is my Hobonichi Weeks, which I have trimmed. So the Hobonichi Weeks, as it comes, is a little bit longer. It goes to about here. You can see <laughs> where I've trimmed it off at the bottom there. And I really wanted to use this in my wallet to track my budgeting and to log the purchases that I made. I was just using a graph insert and it just wasn't the same. I really wanted to have that calendar. So I love this. Um, it was not hard at all to trim it and I, I, if I could do it, you could do it. It was bound to a hard cover. Um, it wasn't really hard. It was like, it was a firm linen sort of cardboard cover, which I did have to peel off. Um, and then I just covered it with Scarlet Lime Planner Society paper again because it's beautiful and I love it and I used some packing tape to reinforce it and I really like how it ended up turning out. I'm, I thought it, I think it looks pretty cute. So I did um, have to reinforce the front edge and you can kind of see the glare of the packing tape there. Um, this is the Hobonichi pocket that it comes with and I'm using the yearly overview to track workouts. I actually was using this Hobonichi Weeks as a regular planner and then I, I sort of fell off with it um, for that function and then I was like this will be perfect to use in my wallet. So I trimmed it and I'm planning on using the monthly pages as just a general overview when bills are due and putting those amounts there so I can sort of see money at a glance on the month view. And then for the week view, because it is a bit personal, I made a sort of mock-up so you can understand how I'm using it. So if I have anything due, I'll highlight it. Unfortunately, I do pay student loans. Ugh, fact of life, but um, so I would highlight that there. And then any purchase that I make, I would note the amount and what category it's under. So groceries, gas, gifts, whatever it might be. And then off to the right, I will have what my allotted budget is at the start of the week. And at the end of the week, I'll revisit the purchases that I made and sort of see how I ended up doing with my budgeting. So adding the Hobonichi Weeks into this cash system is something new, but it's something I'm looking forward to and I think it will really help me stay on top of things and cognizant of how I'm spending my money. And the other thing I really like about the Hobonichi Weeks is that it has a bunch of note paper in the back. So I can use this for planning budgets or planning gifts. When Christmas season comes around, I can have right in here a built-in note section of what I want to buy as for, you know, my family and friends. So I think this will work out really well. So that is the overview of how I'm using my Chic Sparrow Golden Brown Maverick Deluxe personal size traveler's notebook as a wallet. Um, I hope this helped you or gave you some sort of uh, idea of something you might want to do or incorporate into your planner or your wallet. If you have any questions, of course, please link or leave them below. Um, I'd be happy to help if I can. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. See ya.